I feel like most people that I know at some point in their life have had some sort of issue with like insecurity and like being insecure whether it's like about their weight or like their face <laughs> in some way and I feel like um, it's something that like most people experience at some point obviously some people worse than others. I've always had body image issues, I've always had issues with my self-confidence uh, which led me to develop some issues of food like bulimia and anorexia um, so is my like my mum's had a lot of um, body image issues as well i myself like get insecure quite a, quite a lot um and a, like a lot of my friends do um and my sister as well kind of has issues um with her weight uh, yeah my mum's had a lot of body image issues uh, She's grown up being a, a plus size woman as well. Which, uh, and I mean, she's had a lot of confidence issues where she doesn't like having a picture taken. So she, that sort of passed down on me where I get very self conscious constantly. I'm scared of if I look big, if you can see my rolls, if I look fat, and it's made me feel very ugly and unlovable, <laughs> to put it simply. I think that social media does affect like the way we perceive ourselves because a lot of the time you see like photos of like models and stuff that are like really heavily edited um, and you like really compare yourself to them um, in a lot of ways um, and like I know for a fact that I do that <laughs> and I don't think social media is the only issue and I think a lot of the time people like blame social media when it's kind of not just social media that's the issue but I definitely think that without it you would kind of compare yourself to other people a lot less. Yeah there are a lot of extreme standards within body image like throughout like, like um, history you'd think that obviously it's always projected onto women which it mainly was yeah but nowadays there's uh, a lot more body image issues for men as well like guys. It's, uh, it's a lot stressful for everyone. There's a lot of body image issues where you need the perfect waist or the perfect skin or whatever, but I feel like social media has had the impact where the main kind of, the main kind of person which is valued and seen as like perfect is someone who's very slim and very, uh, rich or they have nice hair like in younger generations and a lot of young people there's definitely kind of a lot more body positivity like surrounding plus size people and things like that but at the same time it is still stigmatized and it is still an issue and i think the standards we like to think that they're less extreme but a lot of the time they're actually not what's the question then how would you define beauty? Shit, I don't know. How would I define beauty? The way you put yourself into the world, into the world and what you contribute to it. If you put in positive positivity and like love for all, then that's beautiful, that's a wonderful thing. And like if you put in negativity or hatred and bigotry, you're an ugly motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I think beauty is different to everyone but I think if you're being true to yourself and genuine to yourself I think that's, I don't, I don't think there's anything like more beautiful than that really. And obviously it's confidence, confidence is a huge part in it, if you're confident in yourself then people will see the beauty that you have. We say it's like, it's, it's not just skin deep, it's inside.